Thank you, Mr. Carter. I uh, briefly had that same flashback in that Disney World trip also. 45 hour trip, I think I remember too. Uh, the next uh, candidate for U.S. Representative District 1 is Mr. Brian Bruce. Hello, how you doing? Hey, look, I'm extremely honored that you would have me here. I'm extremely blessed to be the candidate, Democratic candidate for Congress. But I just want to tell you a couple things. I want to introduce one quick thing. That's, that's my wife right here, Sandy Reese, my wife of 18 years. And uh, we, we have two wonderful children. I have a daughter of 14, uh, Kate Elizabeth, and I have a son, Benjamin Reese. Uh, I named Benjamin after my, my father. That way he gets to inherit. <laughs> Let me just say this very quick. You know, we, we have a number of great issues facing our country. And, and one of the things you have to understand is that we have to have big boy shoes on to, to face those issues. We have to face them in all. We can't be afraid to stand up and be counted. The issues facing our country are very, very clear. In the first congressional district, Georgia grows for the next 25 years for the first congressional district, which really encompasses not also, even though it only is a little portion of it. And it grows because of the poor system, it grows because of the infrastructure. The infrastructure here to grow and triple the, the, uh, the amount of residents here. And we have to be proactive, and we have to be uh, strategic in how we plan that growth. It's extremely important that we do it in a manner that is inclusive, not exclusive. It's extremely important that everyone has a voice in Washington. One of the biggest problems we have in Washington is not that they're not there, it's that they're unwilling to talk to each other. We have congressional candidates, grown men and women, who will not have a conversation about us. I want you to think about that for me. Because you send men and women to represent you, whether you're Republican or Democrat, to make decisions that best represent you. There's 704,000 people in every congressional district. And no one has the right to hold those people in bondage for a derision. I'm a businessman. I'm a managing partner with UPS. Been there 10 years. I work for three Fortune 500 companies. I'm pretty sharp. And I know one thing. There's no way to get anything done not talking to each other. It's impossible. It does not happen. So the first thing we have to do in Washington, we've got to get these guys talking. They've got to reach across the house. I'm going to say something that's legendary. You ready to hear? The surprise. Go ahead. Yeah. There's not one significant piece of legislation that does not have Republican and Democratic backing. Doesn't happen. Anymore. And until we get people who are going to Congress who are willing to put partisan aside and put people first, we're not going to get anything done. We cannot afford, you cannot afford, I cannot afford to have anyone go to Congress and they're more concerned about the political uh, prowess than the people on the ground. We have to, we have to be correct. You know, one of the things I can tell you about me is this. There's two things that every parent wants for their child. Two things. The first thing is you want that child to outlive you. Will not leave. The next thing you want for that child is you want that child to do better than you. And for the first time in American history, for the first time in the history of all of America, our children may not do as well as we're doing now. Now I'll tell you right now, I'm successful. But I'm successful because my parents sacrificed for me to go to college. My father taught school. My mother's a city clerk council for the city of Savannah. My father worked two jobs to put me through college, me and my identical twin brother, whom I look better than. <laughs> But I'm going to tell you something that a lot of my Republican friends are saying. They say, right now, the reason I'm going to vote for you is because you're concerned about the citizens. You're going to put them first. They're the reason you're running. You're not running for your political party. The other thing I'm going to vote for you because you're successful, but you're not rich. So you have more in common with people of the first congressional district. You know what they're going through. You know what they need. And you're willing to listen. Let me explain something to you. When we win on November 4th, I need you more on November the 5th. Because the dialogue doesn't end on November the 4th. It continues and grows after that. We need to come up with constructive plans to employ and grow the economy in the first congressional district. Wherever I go, the number one issue is the economy. In our Georgia, 32% of the people live in the poverty 
the greatest resource, the greatest resource in every, every county are the children. The children. But guess what? I already heard them say it. Their kids can't find employment, so they're going to other places to look for jobs. So the county's down. You have a 9% unemployment rate in Dioxin. And an 8.7% in the county. That's not acceptable. It's 5.9% in the United States. Why is Vodafone not at 59 Those are the questions you have to ask. Those are the questions that common sense legislation needs to address. You cannot get stuck on affordable health care. You can't. It's a waste of time. You try to stop it 54 times, you're not going to stop it. It's already helped 8.1 million people. It's a waste of time. for a Congress to only pass 140 pieces of legislation when they go to sit and represent you. That's not your job. They're too busy trying to come up the works instead of get things done. Now, let me tell you something. I work for UPS, we manage a park with them. We get things done. We don't make excuses. We don't cry. We can hate each other and still make sure we finish the job. And bottom line is, we send men and women to Washington on our behalf. And I can tell you right now, when I go, and if you allow me to go and earn your vote, you're going to be the first thing on my mind on every piece of legislation. Every piece of legislation. It will not be my party. It will not be Chatham County. It will be all 700,000 people that are in the first congressional district. Because we need to make sure we benefit them. Service is to serve someone else first. That's how service works. You never go into a restaurant and ask the waitress to eat before you. The waitress eats after you. And if you are in the service industry of being an elected official, your responsibility is to serve everyone you represent, whether they voted for you or not. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm content because, you know, I understand why I'm running. I'm running because I want to benefit as many people as possible. Now, I need to do something with Where are all my Vodafone State kids? Stand up. 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 Everyone come. Stand up. Stand up. I want to say something. I want you to understand this. It's extremely important because you're the reason we're running. It's to benefit you. When I graduated from college and I went to apply for jobs within my university, Every job that I applied for, I got. Every last one. I didn't take, I couldn't, I couldn't accept every last one, but every job that I applied for, I received. Matter of fact, when I took the job and moved me and my wife to the beach, I had, a, I had a year later, one of the jobs called me and asked me to come back and asked me if I would take a raise to leave the job I was at. I want you to understand something. It's about opportunity. I can't make you successful. I can't. But one of the things we have to do is make sure for the next 25 or 30 years that you have an opportunity to succeed. And then it's your responsibility after we have gone to bed that you make sure that the next generation has an opportunity to succeed. The American dream is when children do better than their parents. That's the dream. I employ you, help these kids live the dream. Just like you helped me live the dream. Just like my parents helped me live the dream, and every last one of you, or a little bit older than me, I'm only for you. Help me live the dream. And help me have the opportunity to be successful. You know, I'm running for, um, for purpose. I'm running to open the door. I'm running to fill the void. We need for America to wake up. The biggest threat to America, hear me, I'm going to let you sit down and answer this, stand up, stand up, I want you to hear. The biggest, <laughs> the biggest threat to America, by far, is a Congress that won't talk to each other. Our enemies look at that and they say, we can get them. Because they won't communicate and they won't collaborate and they won't come to a balanced common sense decision that benefits everyone, guess what? Now you put our enemies on notice 
that we're no longer the America they need to fear. So I'm asking for your help. Voting begins October the 13th through the 31st and in November 4th. Thank you so much.